Problem number 40. It says circle O has a center at negative 2, negative 2, and a diameter of 10 units. Which point lies on circle O? Now, you're first jumping to probably saying, oh, well, i got to use the formula for the equation. It doesn't ask anything about the equation. It says you have a center and a diameter of 10. So just imagine this. Here we are on our coordinate grid. The center is at negative 2, go over negative 2, and down negative 2. Our center's right here. It has a diameter of 10 units. That means from one end of the circle to the other, it's 10. Well, what does that mean the radius is? That means the radius is 5. So if you're here at negative 2, negative 2, you have a point sitting out here 5 units away. You have another point to the left 5 units away. You have a point right up here 5 units above and another one 5 down here. And you could connect them and there would be your circle. Well, let's figure. If this is at negative 2, negative 2, if we go to the right 5 units, because again, the whole diameter is 10, so the radius is 5. Negative 2, negative 2, the height doesn't change. The x value is going to go to the right. That's going to end up being 3, negative 2. Is that any of our options? No, so they didn't go to the right. Let's see if they went maybe to the left. To the left, if you're at negative 2 and you go to the left, five units, you're going to be at negative seven, negative two. Is that one of our options? No, that's not one of our options. So, so far they didn't go to the right five units nor to the left five units. Now some of you may accidentally try to pick this point B. B, is, that's the center. That's not on the circle. They're talking, hey, what is on this outside circle bit here? That's what they're asking. What's sitting on this outside of it? <clears throat> not who's in the center. So you know choice B what I'm going to look at. But let's look at, maybe let's drop five units. If you're at negative two, negative two, and you then drop five units, you're going to be at negative two, negative seven. Now, that's not it either. Again, if we go up top, let's see. You go up, you're at negative two, and then your height, if you've gone up five units, negative two, three. There's none of these options. What's going on here? Well, what we have to do is we have to notice that also things have gone out five units in all these directions also. So who is five units away from this center? Now this is pretty tricky. Usually they're going to ask you to sort of plot a point or list an ordered pair on this, but this time they've made it a lot trickier. Usually we do this thing, and it'll give us one of the points that they picked, but it didn't happen in this situation. So what I now need to be thinking is the distance from here to that negative 2, negative 2, has to be 5 units away. So I could use the distance formula with comparing negative 2, negative 2 with negative 6, negative 5, negative 2, negative 2 with the 6, 4, and negative 2, negative 2 with the 8, 8. Well, let's start with this one. The distance formula is the change in the x's squared plus the changes in the y squared. And we need this distance from the center to the point to come out to be a radius of 5. So we need this distance to be 5. So we need 25 in this square root. Let's see what we get with this one. The difference of negative 6 and negative 2 is 4. So that's going to be 4 squared plus the difference of negative 5 and negative 2 is 3 squared. Uh-oh, look what happens. 16 and 9 square root of 25. That's going to be it right there. That guy's going to be our option. Much trickier than I would have expected. But I have to rely on what I know. Since none of these points worked, I then knew that the difference between the center and these points had to be a distance of 5. So it has to be option A in this problem number 40. Little, rather difficult problem there for you.